Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Bevers. Today we have the 2014 Core Set Bundle that I found at one of the local shops near me. Um, I've never opened one of these. I don't have a 2014 Core Set uh, Booster Bundle um, on my shelf. I try, I've been trying to basically collect one of every one that I can. Um, specifically for the boxes. I want to have all the boxes. Um, so that's what I'm working towards, which is also why you've seen me, and you sh if you don't know by now, I do have a World Wake one that I picked up from the same person that I picked up a bunch of my other stuff that I've been opening lately from. So um, there is that. So we're going to get into this and see how it goes. Some of those older uh, bundles or booster or fat packs, um, I should say, um, are a little harder to come by, and some of them are very expensive. So, um, we'll see what happens. Anyway, we've got the inside of this. I don't like opening these up until I'm ready to use them, so I have a whole pile of them that are stuck over here to the side. Um, and hey, who knows, maybe I'll do a giveaway at some point on YouTube here for some of these. Like, I have a whole pile of them here. I have one from, like, con, like here. There's one from cons here. And there's one from M14 now, and I have a bunch from, like, BFZ and all that kind of stuff. So, like, who knows? Maybe I'll do a giveaway where I give some of those away, because I have a whole pile of them um, that I'm not doing anything with. So then, again, like, of course, this is, like, your book of, like, what are the coolest cards, and then it also it has, like, the... Um, let's move this out of the way so I can put this down and give you guys a better look. So, like, it's got, like, you know, all of the, these uh, cards in it. Yeah, there's your top 10 coolest cards, of course. Chandra, then Garrick, then Archangel of Thune, which is a sweet card, by the way. Mutavault, which, of course, everyone knows. Broken. Such a broken card. Um, I think people were thinking that Mutavault was going to be reprinted in Modern Masters 2017, and it didn't happen. Or maybe Mutavault will be printed in Iconic Masters. Who knows? Um, but, geez. So, the books are pretty cool. They've got a lot of cool stuff in them. So, that, there you go. We'll put that over there. We'll get rid of the cardboard here. Boom. Oh, man, look at that Chandra on the side of there. Look at her. What a beast. She's on both sides. Of course she is. Of course she is. And then the cardboard like this. Woo! And then we've got these, the deck boxes. So you got Chandra there and Garrick. These are going to go right into there like that with those cons ones. And what do we got here? We got a die. All right. Okay, we got a blue die for M14, so there you go, and go right there, and I believe we have uh, nine, is it nine boosters? This is, there's five here, and your booklet, which we're not going to go through, and what, another four here, another four here. Liliana is the best magic waifu? Of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? Although, people might disagree. And if you disagree, leave a comment below and let me know. Who do you think you, like, who would you want as your magic waifu, as Fart Kilometer put it so elegantly in Twitch chat? Um... So yeah, we've got, what do we got? We got Chandra, we got Archangel, we've got the Fiend Slayer Paladin, we got Garrick, we got Chandra, we got Archangel, Fiend Slayer, Fiend Slayer, and the Sliver, right? I think that's the Sliver. So we only have one Garrick and one Sliver. So we're going to open a Fiend Slayer first because we got three. We'll open three. We'll open one of the Fiend Slayers first. All right, what do we got here? Fire Shrieker. Man, that's a card that takes me back. Equipped creature has death, uh, double strike. Woo! Good times. Woodborn Behemoth. Very cool. A little 4-4 four, four for 5, but it gets plus 4, plus 4 and trample as long as you have 8 or more lands. Good in the white in the green ramp decks, for sure. I said white because I read the staff of the Son of Sun Magus. Or Magus. Uh, you know, 
basic artifact that gives you a life whenever you have a white spell. Whenever you cast a white spell or a planes enters the battlefield under your control. And our first rare? Awaken the Ancient. So there you go. It's a, this is the, uh, the enchant aura for your lands, which makes an enchanted mountain a 7-7 red giant with haste. It's still a land. Only costs four. So on turn five, you can swing in with a 7-7. Seven, seven. However, you turn your land into a creature, and maybe that's not the best. But who knows? Speaking of mountain, there you go, right there. And we got an ad. Good old ad cards. Good old ad cards. Okay, we're going to go Archangel now. We're going to open... Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go this way. Shock, very good card. Shadowborn Apostle. Uh, I remember seeing a video recently with, like, or not recently, but, like, a while back where it was, uh, Numi. Numot the Nummy. Uh, and he was, like, Shadowborn Apostle, Shadowborn Apostle, Shadowborn Apostle, just on every turn. He played one on turn one, two on turn two, three on turn three, and then sacked them to get the demon. <laughs> Good times. Mark of the Vampire. I remember this card being hilarious. Celestial Flare, very good. Man, M14. I remember. I remember drafting this set a couple of times. I think I was started to draft it on MTGO. I think this is around the time that I started getting into MTGO. Staff of the Flame Magus, or Magus. Enlarge. Water Servant. And a Witch Stalker. A 3-3 three, three Hexproof for 3. That says, whenever an opponent casts a blue or black spell during your turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. So if you try, if you goad them into playing their counter spells or removal spells, you get tokens on your guy. We got an add card and a planes. All right, what we want to we want to see at least what one mythic out of this out of this fat pack. I want to say at least one mythic, right? Hunt the weak, Chandra's outrage. Man, the commons in this set were just. Deadly Recluse. Wow. Okay. Corrupt. This was a cool card, too. Basically dealing damage equal to the number of swamps you have, and you gain life equal to that. Banisher Priest. Very good. Wall of Frost. Just a big old derp that gets in the way of things. And our rare is a Traumatize. Good old mill plan. Mill them out, right? Isn't that that's the saying? Mill them out? And, okay, we got a foil in this one. Dragon Hatchling foil. Very cool. And we still got a yet another ad card. Oh, wait. All new comic book with exclusive alternate art playable cards are available now from IDW Publishing. I don't know if that's still a thing. If it is, go get your comic books with alternate art. Why not, right? Why not? Okay, we're opening up the... Second last Fiend Slayer Paladin. That way we have one of each art left. Man, Hunt the Weak again. Quag, Quag Sickness was another good removal spell. A Glade Cover Scout. This is a card that sees play in uh, the Hexproof deck. I think it's... I don't know if it's... I think it's called Boggles. Is that the deck that plays this? Dragon Hatchling. Okay. We've got Colonian Tusker. Speaking of mill them out, there's the card that started it all. Millstone. There it is. Mill them out. Vial of Poison. And our rare. Path of Bravery. Three mana cost enchantment. As long as your life total is greater than or equal to your starting life total, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Okay. Okay. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, you gain life equal to the number of attacking creatures. There you go. And yet, another ad. It's like they didn't have tokens back in this set. <laughs> we're going to open the sliver. Because we only had one. I feel like this is the special one. This, we're halfway through. We're halfway through the packs. Because this is pack five of nine. So this is, this is a, the epitome of the halfway mark. Man, Master of uh, Diversions. This card was so good in White Weenie, in White uh, White Aggro Limited. Whenever it attacks, you just tap a creature. So you basically just get to tap them down when you swing in. Time Ebb was also a good card. Man. 
Oh, good old cancel. Good old cancel. Steel form sliver. Brave the elements. Phantom warrior. And our rare, Liliana's Reaver. This card was actually very good back in the day. I don't know if it still carries any value or anything like that, but it's a 4-3 death touch zombie for 4 mana. But it says, whenever Liliana's Reaver deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card, and you put a 2-2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. So they basically have to block it, and if they don't have something with 3 power, whatever they're blocking with is going to die um, and not kill the Liliana's Reaver. So... Generally speaking, they end up losing something bad or, you know, whatever. Let's open Garrick. Let's open Garrick next. And, of course, we got an ad card in that pack as well. Because why not? Why not, right? Claustrophobia. Come on, we just want to see, like, a Mutavault. Uh, or some some number of Mythics. A Foil. Foil Mutavault. That's what we want to see, right? Voracious Worm. Blightcaster. Bramble Crush and our rare. Hey, we got a Garrick out of the Garrick pack. There you go. I don't think this Garrick is crazy, uh, crazy expensive or anything like that. But it's still sweet to hit a Planeswalker out of a fat pack. Man, can you imagine if you'd open this fat pack right when 2014 hit and you were like, "Oh my God, Garrick! I got Garrick! That's amazing." Sweet, very, very sweet. So six mana cost Garrick. Whew, that's that's an expensive Garrick. Comes in with four loyalty. Plus one. Reveal the top five cards of your library. Put all creature cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Minus three, you may put a green creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Minus seven, you get an emblem with whenever you cast a creature spell, you may search your library for a creature card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Sweet, sweet. Oh, we got a foil in this pack too. Man, Angelica Cord. I remember this now. Angelica Cord was always the plan that my buddy and I tried to make happen in Limited. So this is like at the beginning of each end step, if you gained four or more life this turn, you put a 4-4 four, four Angel into play. And then there was um, the Cauldron. I think it was the Cauldron that let you sack a creature and gain four life or something like that. Um... So, anyway, it was really cool. Hello, Midnight Pearl. Welcome to the chat. Thank you so much for joining. Well, now Midnight Pearl gets a shout-out on YouTube. Because I'm filming this for YouTube, and she's here in chat. Or he's here in chat. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a great night. Just like me. And all of these people who are watching on YouTube. They're all having a great night, too. At least I hope so. Lay of the Land... Caspian Knight, Essence Scatter. I'm not going to read all the commons. What am I doing? What am I What am I crazy reading all the commons? Pfft, what a ridiculous thing. Fire Shrieker. There we go. Dark Steel Ingot. Man, I remember this from the original uh, Mirrodin set. This card was such a pain. Wall of Frost. And our rare... Domestication. There you go. So this is uh, basically like mind control, except that it only lets you do it, um, it says at the beginning of your end step, if the enchanted creature's power is four or greater, you sacrifice domestication. So it costs one less, but if the creature ever becomes bigger than four power, you lose him. He's not yours anymore. Hey, we got our first token. Look, our first non-add card. A wolf token. Let's open Fiend Slayer. Because I feel like Fiend Slayer's not treating us he's not treating us right. The first three the first two packs of Fiend Slayer was not not the best. I am gonna do a quick peruse of the comments just because it's taking me back. But I'm not gonna read them out. Volcanic Geyser. Illusionary Armor. Congregate. There you go. Another card to help you gain life and trigger that uh, angelic accord right there. And our rare. Scavenging Ooze. There you go. I don't know if this has a price tag on it anymore. I know when this set first came out and Scavenging Ooze was first released, this was a fairly pricey card because it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 that lets you exile cards from gra from any graveyard. Um, and if it was a creature card, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on this and gain a life. So it's pretty sweet. This is a sweet card. Oh, we got a foil mythic! 
We got a foil mythic in our fat pack. Wow. How does that even happen? Shadowborn demon. Foil mythic in a fat pack. Jeez. Jeebus. I don't think this is like... I don't think that this demon sees a lot of play or anything like that. But foil mythic in a fat pack is like very rare. Very rare. It happens. It does happen. Of course it has to happen. But... I would never have guessed that it would happen to me. Let's put it that way. I don't think I've ever opened a foil mythic in a fat pack or bundle before. Now, of course, I've opened, you know, masterpieces in, in fat packs and bundles from the new sets. But, like, it's not... I mean, I don't put it on the same page because it's a different card entirely. It doesn't take up, like, the, the foil mythic and rare slot, right? So, anyway... Uh, so Shadowborn Demon, 5-6 five, for 5, flying. Uh, if it enters the battlefield, uh, when it enters the battlefield, destroy target non-demon creature at the beginning of your upkeep. If there are fewer than 6 creature cards in your graveyard, sacrifice a creature. So, he's actually not that bad. Um, and, of course, a swamp and an ad card. Fiend Slayer turned things around there. Fiend Slayer had a scavenging ooze and a foil mythic in it. I can't believe we opened a foil mythic in in this fat pack. I would I was like, no, it's not gonna happen. There's no way. Like I was thinking maybe a foil rare. I wanted a foil mutavolt, but I mean I guess that's asking a lot. I guess that's asking a lot. So the set the game the game the uh, the cards were like, we'll give you a foil mythic. It's not a foil mutavolt, I know, but just please love us. Please love us. And I was like, all right, I guess. I guess I'll love you this time. Wall of Swords is our first uncommon. Volcanic Geyser. Enlarge. And our last rare. Silence. There you go. One mana cost instant. It says your opponents cannot cast spells this turn. This is the thing you play at their upkeep. So they go untap, upkeep, and you go silence, and they go, uh, and they draw their card, and they can't do anything. <laughs> and they're like, ha! Hey, uh, I've had that happen to me. More than once. It made for an interesting turn for me, because I just got to draw my card and kind of look at it and go, oh, that's cool. Oh, oh man, I'm going to like playing that next turn. And then I played it the next turn, and my opponent still lost. So, you know, <laughs> they delay the inevitable. It's fine. Hey, we got a sliver token. All right, we made it made away with only two two non-ad cards. Got there. Got there. Man, Garrick, Collar of Beasts, Scavenging Ooze, and a foil Shadowborn Demon. Three foils in this fat pack as well. A foil Dragon Hatchling, a foil Angelic Accord, and a foil Mythic. I can't complain. I can't complain. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, check out my store, nerdvanastore.ca, for all your single needs. If there's something there that, or something not there that you do need, you can always send me a message and let me know if you if there's something you're looking for specifically that's not up on the site. It may be that I have it and I just haven't put it up on the site yet. Um, I am a one-man shop, so I'm trying to do everything myself. I record all the videos, I edit all the videos, I put all the inventory, I inventory everything. I try to put it all up on the website. It takes a long time. Sometimes I don't get around to it too, too quickly, but I try to get there as soon as I can. Um, also, I have a Patreon. If you want to help help out with the Kraken Packs and that kind of stuff, if you want to get involved, I do a grab bag. I have a big box. If you don't know what it is, I have a big box of things. You get two rares, you get one foil, you get six bulk pulls, and on those six bulk pulls, you could get a, a, a fat pack or a booster pack. Um of the most current set. And then you also get a common or uncommon pull worth a dollar or more American. Okay? So, um, basically you walk away with 10 cards and you could have anywhere from a buck or two to, you know, 30, 40, 50 dollars worth of value. Um, and so there's those grab bags. Um, there's all more information on my YouTube page if you want to see it. More information on the Patreon as well. I also do things where you can sign up for a bundle. I'll open up a bundle and I'll send you anything you want out of it. Um, or a booster box. So there you go. Dear me's paid sponsorship for Mr. Bever's channel over. Oh wait, I'm not, can you sponsor yourself? Is that a thing? Thanks so much for watching everybody. And as always, may your pulls 
ever be better.